Before we get started on our overdue assignment, I want to first show you a few items in iOS and Cocoa Touch that we haven't yet covered in the course that will be helpful as you try to solve the problems laid out in the requirements for the assignment. The first thing we want to do is we want to learn about the PCH file. So let's go ahead and I've gone ahead and created a new project called Prereq for Overdue Assignment. And we can go ahead and type or select prereq for overdue assignment.pch. So, what is a PCH file? Well, it stands for precompiled header and it allows us to import classes and frameworks into all of the files and classes that we'll be using in our project. It also allows us to add a define so that we'll be able to have one defined set up for all of our classes and we won't have to keep importing header files of other classes. Now there are other ways to go about doing this in the future that are more optimal, but for now it's really useful to get comfortable with the PCH file because it's very common to add import statements as well as other macros in the PCH file. So to get started we're going to go ahead and add some more defines. So I'm going to go above this if define obj c so let's write a define, so we can say define, and we're going to say user underscore name, and let's set this equal to name. And let's add another define, just so we can test this out to make sure this works, and we're going to be able to say password. So now if we go back to our ccviewcontroller.m, uh, we can go ahead and test that we have access to this, so we can do user underscore name, and we see we don't have access to it yet. Well, what's going on? Because this is in the pre-compiled header file and we haven't compiled our project yet, the view controller class is not aware of the changes to our PCH. So we need to do what's called a clean. Holding down the command key, pressing the shift key, and holding that down and pressing K, we'll relink up our project and recompile our header files. So now we can go in here, we can see user password, and we can also see user name come up. So let's print both of these out to the console and confirm that we are actually able to use our defines as we supposed we would. So that these two are going to be replaced with NS string, specifically password and name. So let's go ahead and run our application. And we'll be able to see password and name both print to our console. So it's replacing our defines that we set up in our PCH file with the strings. And we're able to access these defines in all of our classes, specifically we're able to access in the CC view controller, even though we didn't import anything or set up this define inside of the CC view controller files. So this is going to be really useful when we have many files, we're going to be able to add one define in our PCH and be able to access it in multiple spots.